أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم and welcome everyone Inshallah in today's lecture we'll have discussion on our previous lecture and then we'll have uh, discussion on uh, types of audits by law, by time period and by specific requirement or task ways and at then we'll have discussion on the word scope of a professional accountant or auditor or in other words the professional services provided by an accountant or auditor so inshallah we'll have these uh, uh, main discussion on types of audit uh, in these three categories along with the work scope of an auditor and accountant right so let's begin with the review of previous lecture <coughs> last lecture we had discussion on the auditor uh, then the types of auditors and there were four main types that we had discussion internal external government and forensic auditors and then we had discussion on on types of audits right and we I said that if you want to discuss the types of audit uh, the basis for that is who what work how frequent legal requirement and task ways so the first category was who internal and external we had discussion on internal auditors and external auditors and then we had discussion on the <coughs> second category types of audit by scope of work or activity where we had discussion on financial statements audit compliance audit operational audit information system or information technology audit integrated audit tax audit special or investigation audit right so these have been discussed inshallah today we'll have discussion on three remaining categories time period by law and task base after discussing these three we'll have discussion on the work scope of, of an auditor or accountant so let's begin uh, with the uh, with the specific uh, topic that is types of audit by time period or frequency so how frequent an audit is carried out uh, on the basis of that there are three types of audits periodical or annual audit interim audit and continuous audit from the name you can see periodical or annual audit is an audit could be external internal forensic uh, operational uh, financial compliance any type but if it is once a year we call that annual audit or periodic audit right once a year means at the end of the financial or accounting period right or fiscal year next we have interim audit interim audit is an audit which is conducted in the middle of the accounting period means after six months that's called interim order it could be internal external compliance financial uh, operational or whatever but if the uh, frequency time period is six months or the middle of the accounting period or accounting cycle uh, accounting period or accounting year we call that interim audit next one is continuous audit continuous audit from the name you can see there is no specific time this audit is uh, on, on daily basis mostly these audits are internal uh, it could be external as well but mostly they're internal these audits are carried out on daily basis to make sure all the operational and financial activities of the organization sales and other activities of the organization are running smoothly according to the policies and procedures of the organization uh, according to international uh, accounting and financial reporting standards and there is no fraud errors misrepresentation etc so that is continuous audit right continuously on daily basis weekly basis monthly basis next we have uh, type of audit by law by law we have two types of audit statutory and non-statutory non-statutory statute means law or compulsory non-statute means non-compulsory Compulsory audit is uh, that audit 
uh, which is carried out as per the requirement of law. What does it mean? It means that all those uh, companies or businesses which are registered according to the Companies Act 2013, those companies are required to carry it out audit once a year. So when these companies uh, take a uh, carry out audit, their audit becomes statutory audit, means required audit, compulsory audit. They are com they are they are compuls I mean they are compelled by the by the law. It's compulsory on them to carry out audit whether they want or not uh, they, uh, an audit will come uh, once a year on that organization an external auditor uh, will have to audit once a year uh, all the accounting record and financial information of that company that's why it's called statutory audit right non-statutory is non-compulsory means if a business is not registered as per the Companies Act of 2013, then that company is not required to carry out audit once a year. I mean, it's not required for them to carry out audit once a year because they are not registered as per the Companies Act 2013. So they have free hand whether they want to carry out audit once a year or not. Right? So they have a free hand whether they want to carry out or they want they don't want to carry out the audit that's in simple words you can read the information from the slides uh, inshallah it's the same thing that I've explained to you the main concept is the same thing right so it says an audit can on as per the requirement of law is called statutory audit for example all companies have to get their accounts audited as per the provisions of companies act 2013 uh, statutory order defer to audit of financial statement uh, for specific or type of entity that is required by law or local body, for example, all banking sectors are required their financial statements to be ordered by qualified audit firm that uh, uh, approved uh, by their central bank. Right. So that's one of the requirement on this on the banks. All the banks in Afghanistan they are required by the central bank to carry out audit once a year. Because central bank wants to make sure that being these banks operate properly, they report properly to the central bank. That's why from the central bank side, it's bending compulsory on all the banks to carry out audit once a year. And this audit should be carried out by a professional audit individual firm, individual or a firm, a well-known, right? non statutory is uh, audit of all types of entities financial statements including both meeting or not meeting the government required I mean you are not required to carry out the audit if you carry out audit it's okay if not you are not required right so that's about the statutory and non statutory the main difference is that statutory audit is for the companies who are registered under the company law and also uh, the companies who are required by the government or by the regulatory authority and non statutory is those, those businesses who are not required by this uh, regulatory authority or by the government or by any law to carry out audit but they carry out audit uh, I mean with, with their own will that becomes non statutory in Afghanistan external audits mostly the companies um, are non-statutory uh, because they are not required. Uh, so there could be a portion, uh, the specific um, portion of the companies which are required by the regulatory authorities, maybe by the donors or by other regulatory authorities to carry out audit. But mostly the businesses, they are not required. So there is less statutory audit. And that's why uh, there are, unfortunately, uh, audit firms who make, carry out, I mean, unethical uh, things in prepare financial uh, 
or audit reports by the will of the organization by not carrying out the audit as required by the professional bodies right so and this could be everywhere now we have uh, the last category which is uh, types of audit by special task or requirement or task base cost audit you see cost audit this is specific this audit is only and only for cost accounting purposes all the organizations who has cost accounting records and they want to make sure that their cost accounting record is proper there is no error there is no misrepresentation so they carry out cost accounting audit and that's specific uh, and specifically this audit uh, is carried out in cost accounting department of the organization right cost audit is defined as the verification of cost accounting records data and techniques for its account uh, accuracy and authenticity it gets an effective managerial tool for the reductions of errors and frauds in the cost accounting records cost accounting is maintained by those organ uh, organizations who deal in manufacturing and production sahi dekha na and had hai ke tawlid astan tawlid mein karan sahi hai tawlid mein karan una cost accounting department nashta mein washan fale haza e omni stay khas asta faqad amu cost accounting department rama audit mein karan amu audit rama mein cost audit mein washan wa ina farayshan am khas nafarastan ke auditor tajrabe kari zat dara da mufil di cost accounting ho bas man wa cost accounting ni ek ne hadra audit me kona sahi hai sta next we have management audit management as norm was it has management management is what lower management middle management and upper management the e tamami uh از لحاظ مدیریت یک نهاد مکمل نهاد بررسی میشه آرد میشه و دیده میشه که آیا ای ارگنزیشنل سٹرکچر یک کمپنی صحیح است یا نیست مطابق امو ویژن میشن گولز این اوبجیکتیوز آف دا کمپنی است یا نیست آیا امی ارگنزیشنل سٹرکچر ای کمپنی را برای راست می برای خیر رای کی ای کمپنی یا طرف اهداف طرف مرام و مقصد کمپنی می برا و اوجا می رسانا یا خیل ای قسم آرد رو ما چی میگیم منجمنت آرد سایستا منجمنت آرد می بی دیفاین از کمپرینسیف اگزامنیشن آف ارگنزیشن سٹرکچر آف اکمپنی اسٹیوشن این ایتس پلانز این اوبجیکتیف مینز آف اپریشنز این یوز آف ہیومن ریسورس پیزیکل فیسیلیٹیز The main objective of management audit is to see how far the objectives of management are fulfilled. It aims to ascertain whether sound management prevails uh, throughout the organization and evaluates its efficiency in the system of its operations or not. See that? Katal ki which aya da organization structure chide ka na da supervisors chide da managers chide da directors chide da CEO de CFO de wagera wagera. دا دو چې کوم صلاحیتونه دي کوم سیټ ته کوم کوم کارونه دي هغه صحیح دي که نه دي صحیح منج کی که نه منج کی صحیح دا دس طریقې سره منج کی چې هغه ارګنایزیشن یو هدف ته ورسې که نه کس مشکلات دي دا کس به غوته دا غوته را غوته مشوره ورکي د مغې مشورې په اساس باندې ارګنایزیشن کې سټرکچرل چینجز راځي صحیح دا نیکس وی هیو کنسٹرکشن دا نوم نو واضح ده فقط د کنسٹرکشن کمپنی نه د پاره ده یا هغه کمپنی نه چې هغه نور بزنس نوم کوي خو یو پارټ پکې کنسٹرکشن هم ده نو صرف او صرف هغه کنسٹرکشن پارټ د اوډیټ کول د پاره مونږ کنسٹرکشن اوډیټ کوو او کنسٹرکشن اوډیټ چې ده هغه ډېر یو خاص ده سپسیفیک ده سه عام یو هغه نه ده اوډیټ نه ده چې هر کنسټرکشن ته پکار وي د ده پاره هم دغه تجربه کار اوډیټر پکار ده چې هغه په کاسټ فیلډ کې ډېر تجربه ولري نیکس وی ہیو فورنزک آڈٹ فورنزک آڈٹ ہم ڈیریو اسپیسیفک او ڈیریو اسپیشلائزڈ قسم تو آڈٹ دے پدی آڈٹ کے آڈیٹر کوشش کئی کہ تو شواہد را پیدا بکنا کہ وہ شواہد وہ بعض دا محکمہ پیش بکنا 
تا که خلاف یک نفر یا به فایده یک نفر استفاده شوه و و اکثرا فرونزنگ آدرد جلوگیری از جرم فراد سایز فریب و دوکا ای چیزا می باشه که از بین برده شوه یا بین دو نفر کدام تنازیه می باشه سر پول یا کدام مسئله پولی و چیزا باشه باز فرونزنگ آدرد می باشه سایز Next financial review audit. You can see financial review. I aslan yak audit in this time, but yak overall review of financial statements me washa. Wo auditor ra me me khayam ki bibi na financial statement hai mara bibi na ki sahi ma record me kare na me kare. Yak auditor me aaya wo fakat accounting system me mara check me kona financial review me kona wo financial statement me check me kona. Wo mara training me ta mara nishan me ta mara mashwara me ta ki ma chitu me to nim ki yak. اکاونٹنگ ریکارڈ خوبی داشته باشیم و فاینانشل استیٹمنٹ ها را به طریق خوب پیش ببریم چارت اف اکاونٹ خود را صحیح درست بسازیم یعنی او فقط یک ریویو میکنه باز ما مشوره میده کدام راپور یا کدام چیز را جنریت نمیکنه صحیح است که او باز فارمل باشه و به اکسترنل به اینترنل به تمام پارتیز و چیشا استیک هولدرز کمیونیکیت شوه ایرا میگن فاینانشل ریویو ای یک ان افیشل قسم تایک آرد می باشم درست است؟ so that's all about what types of audits that we have here three by law by time period by specific requirement or task base now let's discuss our last topic which is work scope of an auditor right or scope of an auditor uh, or accountant so what type of professional services can an auditor or accountant provide to the people in public right Kalachio Kasp مسلکی آریتر شی یا اکاونٹن شی یعنی اگا سرٹیفائیڈ شی کوالیفیکیشن مو داری نو اگا دا آریتنگ اکاونٹنگ سرویس نا علاوہ نور کم خدمات دی چا غرزہ کولی شی مثال یو آریتر دی دا آریت نا علاوہ نور کم خدمات دی چا غرزہ کولی شی یو اکاونٹن دی دا اکاونٹنگ نا علاوہ نور کم خدمات دی چا غرزہ کولی شی نو اگا باندے مونگ بحث کو سایدہ یو نفر چی دو مرا غرد مقام تر سیگی نو اگر صرف یو کار نشی کولی اگر بلا دیر کارم نکولی شی نو من گروه چی قانونی طور سرا یک آریتر یا اکاونٹن کدام کدام کارها را یعنی عرضه خدمات کرده میتانه درست هست؟ نمو ون ایز اکاونٹنگ سرویسز خدمات محاسبوی سایستا؟ چی قسم میباشه؟ یک نهاد خیلی خورده است میتانه که یک آریتر برا ببنا مشوره بته یک ما دیگه ما اکاونت های از اونا را چک بکنه سعی برشان ریکارد بکنه پراپرلی اکاونتنگ سیستم برش پیش ببره یا یک هفته دیگه هفته سعی است چون فرم خورد است اونا می که یک نفر را حیر بکنه اونا فول تایم امپلایی باشه فقط یک در بدل یک, یک فیسی انده که یک اکاونتن میتونه که یک اکاونتن میتونه که سی چل پینجا ست کمپنی را مشوره بته و ماهوار یا افتوار با اونا بره هفته یک بار یا ماه یک بار با اونا بره و تمام کارای اکاونتنگ از اونا را پیش ببره و ماهوار اونا را یک فیس خیلی کم چارج بکنه سایستا این قسم ما اکاونتنگ سرویس این اولا از این یک کمپانی نو تا سیس میشه و ایچ اکاونتنگ سیستم نداره محاسب میتونه که اونا را مشوره بتن که چه قسم اکاونتنگ سیستم خدا تنظیم بکنه درست هست یا یک سافتوی را برش انسٹال بکنه امپلایز نو را ترین بکنه که چه قسم دو انتری میشه و چه قسم منتین میشه ای خدمات را برشان انجام بده یا یک یک منوال برش جور بکنه یک دیتا بیس برش جور بکنه دا اکسل که دو باز اونه حد بتانه که دو تمام چیز را ریکارد بکنه سایز ای را میگم اکاونتنگ سرویسز تکسیشن سرویس ای از تکس کیز در تمام دنیا آلی لازم ملزوم است هر نهادی باید تکس بپردازه و این تکس پرداختن یک مصرف است که در بزر از او هیچ مفایده را به دست نمیاریم سایسته فلی هده بزنیس ها کوشش میکنه که 
و ای بسیار جنجالی می باشد که دولت تا و بالا می رفتن داره یک نهاد که کار خود پیش می بره او نمی خواهی که دمی جنجالا خود بند بکنه فلی حدا از یک محاسب مسلکی ای خدمات را آوتسورس می کنه و او برش خدمات ارائه می کنه دهی چه می کنه یک محاسب تکس پلاننگ برشان می کنه تکس کمپیوتیشن برشان می کنه و کوشش می کنه که تاسود تکس پلاننگ و تکس کمپیوتیشن لائبیلیٹیز اندارا منیمائز بکنه از پینلٹی از جرائیم چیز دارا جلو گری شو تمام اظهار نامه ها و فرمه های مالیتی را به وقت برشان ارائه میکنه یعنی تمام سردردی را خود اکانتنت یا محاسب یا آرتر به سر خود میگیره می اونی ها دارا میمونه که کار خود را پیش ببره و در بدل از اون خدمات که ارائه میکنه یک فیز برشان از پیششان چارج میکنه سایز تکس سیشن سرویسز آرتنگ سرویسز آرتنگ سرویسز خود ما گفتم برتان یک لیستی تایپس آف آریٹس را خانده مختلف نو آریٹ یک آریٹر میتونه که با یک کمپنی با یک نهاده با یک کلائنٹ ایرائه بکنه سایستا پروویجن آف انڈوائس ان انٹرنل کنٹرل سسٹم یک آن دفعه یک کمپنی ضرورت بایی داره که یک مشوره داده شوه که اونا سسٹم کنترول داخلی را چخص منظم جور بکنه که تمام کارهای داخل یک نهاد بسیار به سرعت مؤثریت و موسقیت پیش برده شوه که زایه وقتم نشه و زایه منابعم نشه و مکسیمون فایده بده سوارده شوه و برای راست تمام کاران داخته شوه تا نهاده بتانه که به محطف خود برسه <coughs> ای خدمات را هم یک محاسب ارائه میکنه محاسب میایه و سیستم شما را یک ریویو میکنه با شما یک سیستم معرفی میکنه کل پالیسی نداشته باشین یک پالیسی براتان <coughs> جور میکنه او پالیسی را شما ریوی میکنین. تغییرات دشمر مطابق نهاد خود او را می سازین ای را هم نو خدمت است که یک آریتر و اکاونتن با شما ایرائه کرده می تانه فانینشل ادوائس علاوه از یک آریتر با شما مشروع دازی می تانه که شما اکاونت رسیبی بلا خود چه قسم منج کرده می تانن اکاونت سپیه بلا خود چه قسم منج کرده می تانن ورکن کپیتل خود را چه قسم منج کرده می تانن when you are in need of money how can you manage that for short term and for long term if you have extra money where you can spend that money financial advices or financial decisions there are three uh, 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 um, you can say investment decision uh, financing decision and working capital management decision right and working capital account receivables and account payables comes and then investment comes and then financing comes right So this advice could also be entertained by the uh, professional accountant. Next, we have profit forecasts. An auditor and accountant uh, can also advise you what percent of increase should be brought in uh, in your profits for the next year, and what expenses expense, expenses and costs could be cut down. from your uh, from the organization in order to uh, minimize the profits minimize uh, maximize the revenue minimize the expenses and maximize the profit so such advices could also be provided by the auditors or accountants and they provide these advices based on the um, technical <laughs> technical analysis and um, فنڈامنٹل انالیسس رائٹ فنڈامنٹل انالیسس دے دیر آر ٹو ٹائپس آف انالیسس دیٹ ان آرٹر اور اکاؤنٹنٹ کیریز آؤٹ ون از ٹیکنیکل انالیسس دا سیکنڈ ون از فنڈامنٹل انالیسس بیسڈ آن وچ دی آرگنائزیشنس could be assist and then advices are provided you guys uh, should uh, search on fundamental analysis and technical analysis uh, for the extra information that's your homework for today right to see what are these types of analysis and how they are used and for what they are used all right fundamental analysis and technical analysis please search on that and then if you have any question then you have to come back to me next is liquidation services liquidation means Uh, selling out the assets of the company and turning <coughs> them back into the cash 
when this time comes, when a business is winding up, closing its businesses due to uh, insolvency or due to bankruptcy or due to any other reason. So here, the services of auditor and accountants are required because they are expert enough uh, and they could advise you based on the international standards and laws how uh, all the assets of the organization should be sold out and then how they could be distributed among the different categories of the stakeholders right so this is uh, also very important and this uh, service are provided by the accountants and auditors that's all about for today inshallah if you have any questions and any of the topics that we discussed today in this lecture uh, you are more than welcome and we are more than happy to uh, answer and to explain the question in the comments that you come back right so hope you have understood and hope all is clear I'm looking forward to hearing back from you right so that's all for today thank you so much and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh